friends, this is Miss Myra from the Ventura County Mobile Library. Hope you're doing well. So today we read a really fun story. We read Federico and the Wolf. And this great story at the end has a great recipe. So I thought it would be a fun challenge to try to make the recipe. Parents, I just want to say, you know, um, Cooking with your child is a great way to add not only vocabulary, but you're also uh, practicing um, math skills, science skills, and the best thing is you can adapt depending on your child's age. All right, are you all ready? Let's get started. Okay, friends, so here we go. Let's get started by tossing in our tomato, our diced Roma tomato. Here we go. I did four. And you know, sometimes you follow the recipe as it goes, but sometimes, like for example, my tomatoes were smaller and my onion was bigger, so we'll see if we might not need all the onions. So there we go. Next, let's go for our onion. And let's see how it goes. You can definitely decide. And parents, this is a great way to practice our uh, measuring. And you know, the recipe called for half an onion. So we can talk about that with our little ones while we're doing it. And this part, my friends, you guys can involve even toddlers in helping you pour the ingredients and mix around. And here come, I did not have jalapenos peppers my friends but I did have serrano so these are two serranos that I'm using again if you are not really into the spicy um, you can use less uh, or you can use like uh, the book called for Anaheim peppers or even bell peppers whatever you would like and um, a funny story I don't I did not know this salsa as pico de gallo I knew it as um Chile de uña in my family is what we call this, which translates to um, what we call it a uh, nail, like your nail. <laughs> uh, nail chile. Hmm. Interesting, right? So that's our cilantro now, and we can start mixing that in. Let's mix in our cilantro. I love cilantro, so you know what? Let's just throw it all in there because cilantro is delicious, friends. And you know, this is going to be new for me. I usually don't add garlic to my pico, but we are going to try what the recipe is calling for. So let's toss it in there. There we go. And on the recipe, it calls for lemon juice. Um, I am just had my lemons right here and we are going, I took off the seeds as you can tell. I am just going to squeeze the juice in there. Let's try one more. Yes, let's try two, that's good. So we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna mix. <gasps> but we are missing some very important. I, this is aside, this is more like Miss Meyer's recipe. I like to put a little drizzle of olive oil in there. And let's put in our salt. Depending on how you like, food is so personal personal sometimes, right friends? And uh, again, you can do your own version and please, please, please share with us. Share it on our comments on this video. Send it to us through a message and give us permission to share it. And yeah, so. Let's mix a little bit more, put a little bit more salt. And I think it's about ready. We are going to put it in the fridge now. Okay, friends, so we're all done. We chilled it. Here's the final result. Again, the recipe called it. You can have it with chips. You can have it with a tostada. You can have it as a topping on your tacos. Um, so I hope you enjoy it, but we have to taste it. So I'm gonna ask because I have my braces. I'm gonna ask someone to come and do the test tasting for us. Can you come and taste it now? I'm trying to serve it to you. Put it in there. And let us know how we did, friends. 
passes the test. Give it a thumbs up. All right, awesome. All right, thank you, friends. So again, make your own pico this weekend. Uh, I challenge you all to make your own pico. You can um, share pictures with us or put it in your comments. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.